What's going on guys, it's your boy Dilly Dilly Time here, aka Dilly as most people call me. And in today's video we're going to be going over the best current gen VC method. Now I want to apologize guys, I am a little bit of sick. No, I'm negative if that's what you're thinking it is, it's just a common cold. So I'll be good in a couple days, but I wanted to go ahead and push this video out since I'm at home and I'm not going to work. You know, I will do this part time, so please bear with me if I have to get a sip of water or something like that. So. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start off. The very first thing we're going to do is talk about my career. I know, everybody, if you want to skip through this part, you can't, but here's the most important part. If you're going to be grinding through my career, you're going to be doing, you know, the games, everything like that, start through college. The only reason I say that is because you're going to get an extra 200 to 250 VC per game. Now, when you just skip straight ahead and go to the NBA, you're only getting about 500 per game. It's not a lot. It's not ideal, but... When you go to the college, you're going to get 700 to 750, which is way more, especially if you're grinding out badges and everything. You're going to thank yourself in the long run. Because if you think about it, just playing two games, you're already at 1,500 compared to 1,000. So it kind of adds up over, over time. But, you know, that's not what we're really here for. Um, we want to know how to get it fast. So the first thing, like I said, go to college if you can. If you've already made a bill and you're already in the NBA, that's fine. It's not a big deal. The second thing I would say, guys, is to complete your objectives. Now, as you guys can see, I'm on current gen for the first time all season. As you guys can see, um, I am a level three. I haven't even done anything. I am on my mid interior playmaker and 99 overall. So expect gameplay for that really soon. But if you go to your objective quest, right, you can see a lot of these are a thousand VC, 5,500 VC, like this right here. Complete these challenges, you get a thousand. You get a thousand just for doing your daily quest. Um, so it's kind of kind of important as you can see here you get 1500 plus two 30 minute tokens So all these objectives right here really matter like look at this right here If I do two more daily spins this this season I get 4,000 VC I mean that's pretty cool just doing that right there So just doing this stuff right here that you can see do you know look at this right here You know 250 dunks in any game park game rec game anything like that I'm gonna get 5,000 VC So why would you not want to go ahead and if you're doing my career anyways just grind out You'd be surprised how much you get here plus 20 skill boost so as you guys can see, it just adds up over time. So that would be the second thing I would tell you is work on your objectives as well. If you're playing my career, your objectives are going to happen anyways, but some are certain like rec, some are required for you to play park. So just be mindful of which ones you're grinding for. So that's the second method. Now, this, the third one and the most profitable one, we're not talking about going to the stage, okay? Stage is one of those things where it's a gamble. It's high risk, high reward. You know, it's high risk, low reward too. So you have to be mindful of that, but we're just here to grind out the bills. I will say this method works if you have 10 builds, play my player nation. You can literally start over, make a 60 overall build, play for like 10, 11 minutes, just, you know, not even guarding your guy. They're going to sub you out, sub you back in. You play for a little bit, you know, basically you don't want to foul out. This year, they, you know, 2K caught on. If you foul out, they give you zero. So just play the game a little bit. If it's a build you're trying to grind, play my, my nation anyways. You're going to get badges anyway. So that's just kind of the thing. So I'm going to show you guys that you can literally do this every single day with a new build. So <clears throat> peep this. So as you guys can see, this guy, he's on the... He's on the Lakers, right? So if I go down to my player nation, I already played it for this guy. It says that I have five hours, right? So I'm on the Lakers. That's the best thing I could do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit out and I'm going to show you guys on a brand new 60 overall build that I have off to the side. I'm going to show you that we can go right in and make and play a game and get double VC. So it's going to take a minute. I'm going to show you guys this. I like to do things authentic and raw. So that way you guys don't think I'm cheating. I'm glitching the system, nothing like that. So you guys, I don't waste your time. So come down here we're going to start a new one we're going to come all the way down we're going to do this mid-range facilitator yes i do have uh rebirth and we're going to go straight into the nba like i said if you want more vc and you want to grind out a build go to college you're going to get 200 to 250 more it's way worth it especially if you're grinding my career i'm going to tell you that right now so it says welcome to the nba we're going to pick the toronto raptors because they did have a game um and if you come over here to play next game right Go to my player nation it's going to tell you this cool thing welcome to my player nation boom now it says play game against the hornets okay if you look at it what the with like the my player nation it says from the eighth through the ninth so that means if you have a game in between those two days for a team you can literally just start a new build and play that out like i said you can play for literally 10 11 minutes play poorly and they'll sub you out sub you in stuff like that so you see that i have two hours left to play this and then another one restarts so that way you can just rack up vc that way so you guys that's the easiest method on current gen to do a lot of people are like oh you know like i want to i want to glitch 2k cannot ban you for doing this i'm telling you guys they can't you're literally just making a new player and you're playing my player nation at 60 overall what are they gonna do right and you get double vc so that's a thousand vc if you just play the my player nation if you don't even sit there if you just walk away look i'm gonna delete this build 
come down here. I'm gonna start a new one. I'm gonna go to Lakers just to show you guys like, oh, he's like, oh, you, he picked the Raptors instead of Lakers. No, 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 I'm gonna go actually pick the Lakers and show you guys that you can do this, okay? So keep in mind, it said that I had already played it, right? And it said it was gonna take a little bit of time for the next game to come. That's totally doable. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna pick the Lakers and it's gonna say I can play it on a new build. So we're gonna come down here, find the Lakers. Boom, I'm gonna become a Los Angeles Laker, right? You guys see that I'm a Los Angeles Laker. Cool, awesome. So now we're gonna come here. We're gonna go to My Player Nation. It says, welcome to My Player Nation. Boom, I can play a Blaker game against the Bucks. So guys, if you want an easy 1,000 VC every 15 to 20 minutes, 30 minutes if you're playing to get badges, this is the ideal thing for you guys. Like I said, the thing that's gonna probably be your best is to grind out college, play through VC, because what happens is then after that, this is bonus content for you guys, for people that didn't wait to the end and they just completely missed the video. Max out your deals, your sponsorships, okay? So here, look, I'm gonna show you guys. So you get endorsements, right? You can choose whatever endorsement you want. This is a new one, so you, I don't have really anything there. So I'm gonna load into my 99 overall one and just show you guys like the deals and stuff. What you wanna do, take, I, I just learned this like a while ago, so I do apologize. Had I known when I first started, I would have done this from the start. You don't want any incentives, okay? What you want is to max out the amount that you get because they give you an endorsement deal reward every five to 10 games. So if you're playing micro and you're getting endorsement deals, they're gonna give you anywhere from 3,000 to 8,000 VC every five to 10 games. So you're already building VC up that way. So I know this is a lot more complicated than the next gen one, I do apologize, uh, but it's just that easy. I mean, a lot of people, they don't wanna grind my career, they think it's exhausting, but if you just pop on Netflix or you pop on like one of your favorite streamers and watch them on Twitch while you play these games, VC is gonna add up. And trust me and believe me when I say this. So as you guys can see on my mid and tier playmaker, I got 2.8 million, but as you guys can see, um, my Kia sponsorship, I get 3,400 from them. Um, my hyper experience one, I get 5,400 from them. Had I known, I would have not have done any incentives and probably tried to get like 6,500 from them. But that's just learning with the game, right? So as you guys can see, 5,400 from this one. So it's all about just grinding and getting those games. So once you get an incentive, it's gonna you're just gonna go to the pier and you're gonna collect that. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is. That's the main building right here. Give me some time, guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up. I'm not gonna cut it, but I'm gonna speed it up. All right, guys, so so my apologies. I said the pier. We're gonna go to the lobby. It's on deck four, I'm sorry. I, you know, I just think the pier, like, you know, like when you're like sitting at the dock, so I, I apologize about that. Um, gotta make sure, you know, I say things right, because people are gonna be like, oh, you messed up, da, da, da. So when you get here, you're just gonna go to the right. You're gonna go to this desk right here. Mine's gonna say that I don't have anything available because I just cashed in, so it's gonna say that it's currently closed. Right here is where you're gonna wanna get your VC. This is where all your sponsorships go, everything like that. So go here, you're gonna get those, you know, three to 6,000 VC. Like I said, don't do any incentives, just strictly just get the most you can because in five to 10 games, you're gonna reward yourself, you're gonna be so happy. Sometimes you might get lucky and you might double dip where they like two sponsors wanna pay you in a row and that's just awesome. So that's it for you guys. That's how you get the most uh, VC for current gen outside of you know the high risk reward and stage. Um, if you're just like wanting to get your builds fast, play my career, play my player nation at a 60 overall and just repeat that for a thousand if you want. Or if you're like me, you might as well just grind out um, your my career for the bills that you actually want. So if you have 10 bills that you wanna actually grind out, that's cool. It takes you about five hours if you really wanna do the math that way. But that's it, guys. This is your boy, Dilly Dilly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, next gen is probably the best. This is the second best. If you have next gen, even if you don't play it, just do the method so that way you can get your VC over to current gen. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much. Don't forget that. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Here's Luca. Gets it away. It's gone.